This is Neil E. Boyd, and this is American Minutes. I've been getting a lot of calls from across the pond uh, about uh, friends of mine who are asking me about kind of the origins on why I even do the show in the first place. And it's been extremely interesting to, uh, to talk to them when I do, whether it be on Skype or uh, FaceTime or whatever it is. But these are, these are mu mu musician friends of mine, artists. And I get to talk to them about the origins of American Minutes. Now, the origins of American Minutes comes from a very simple concept. I loved a guy when I was a kid named Paul Harvey, and this guy, he would do his sign-off phrases, uh, and this is the news, you know, he just had this voice, and it was very soothing and comforting, it was kind of like, if you were an artist, it was like a Norman Rockwell kind of guy, and uh, just had these beautiful canvases about American life and American things, everything American. And I'm a big fan of my country. I'm a big fan of my state. I'm a big set fan of my town. But I just like living here. I like living, period. I love my Lord. And I love everything about being alive. But there's, you know, there's a lot of things in this world that are just terrible. Especially now. But at the same time, I understood very early on that America represented hope to the world. And American Minutes are very simple little vignettes about American life. But not everybody's life. I can't speak for everybody. I know a lot of people in this world say, well, I'm speaking for everybody when I say. Well, I'm not speaking for anybody. I'm speaking for myself. I enjoy speaking for myself. I'm the only person I truly know in this world. And I have a lot of friends, too. And... I've made people very happy, and I've disappointed a lot of people uh, because I couldn't give them exactly what they wanted in life. But that's okay. I'm still here, and so are they. And hopefully, they found what they that, what they wanted, and they know who they're talking, who I'm talking to. So, overall, it's it's a uh, cornucopia of awesomeness and awfulness. But the world is, is that. I mean, the, all of our nations, everybody who's apparently listening to me, whether it's on this side of the pond or the other side of the pond, whether it's in Missouri or New York, England, Sweden, London, Russia, China, it's just, it just is what it is. You, everybody's going through the same stuff. And I hope that the world knows this, because when you have an attack in France, it resonates in the U.S. When you have an attack in the U.S., it resonates in France. And this particular enemy doesn't care where you live. I mean, death begets death begets death. The question is, who wants to fight? In my opinion, who wants to fight? Who has the will to fight? And in order not to fight, you have to be able to intimidate. And so you have to stare them down. And if they decide to be takers, it's kind of like the movie Tombstone. We'll be your Huckleberry. So, like I was telling my friends tonight over in England, buddy has the luxury of living in London and seeing sights I only wish I could see tonight. You know, the big clock tower, Big Ben, and talking about the Queen. And I'm so uh, envious of his life. But at the same time, he's so envious of mine. In our, my country and the way we live. Here in the U.S., isn't it odd for a bunch of people trying to tear each other apart? in an election cycle that the rest of the world is still looking at us going what are you crying about what are you crying about that's my phone by the way 
But I know one thing, I do belong here. And I'm glad to be from here. I'm an American. This is Neely Boyd. And this has been American Minutes.